Okie dokie, and we meet again. Video number nine of our Move Smart Contract Language tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to take a look at casting operations in Move. Let's move. <laughs> casting, very, very simple. You have an integer with one particular type. What you're doing is you are converting it to another type. That's it. So let's say you have U64, and for some reason, it could be that you are calling a function that is returning U128, and you need to add those two values up you can convert one of those two to match the other type. Check this out. Simple. What I'm going to do, I'm going to hit sources, create a new file. You know the drill. Sample seven. Move. Start my module. Module net to def, ADDR, sample seven, and let's make this happen. Let's picture this scenario, okay? Let's say this module, you know what? I'm going to do it the right way. We are going to be simulating that we are making a call to another module and obtaining a value. Let's say, for example, you are calling a price oracle smart contract and you are fetching the price of Bitcoin. Let's put it this way. But that smart contract is not your smart contract. It's some other service that has that feature available that you can grab those price on chain and then do a swap and calculate the prices using that data feed. This is called a data feed, in this case, a price feed. So let's imagine that we have a module named price oracle, and we are going to be calling that module to fetch the price of Bitcoin. So let me do the following. I'm going to, instead of doing this module, we're just going to do address and we'll nest both modules at the same time. So I'm going to say net to def, ADDR, and now let's build those modules. First module is going to be called price oracle. Okay. The second module, it's going to be our module, the module that we are going to be doing the casting operation. And you are going to get the concept very quick. This will be casting demo. Check this out. I am going to build a function in this module. This function is going to give me a value. It's going to return an integer. So we are going to be calling that external module or smart contract to get us that information. And we have to do that conversion. OK, so I'm going to say public function, because remember, we are calling a function that is public, which means that it needs to be accessed from other modules. BTC price. All I'm going to do is I am going to be returning. Here's here's the thing. We are going to be returning this value in U128. So I'm going to be returning this U128. However, my smart contract, it's not doing the logic using 128. I am going to be adding a fee. This is what we're going to do. We are going to add a fee to a transaction. Let's suppose that this casting demo, what it's going to do is going to allow swapping of tokens. And I need to add a fee because we need to make profit, right? So we are going to be injecting a fee fee to that operation, to that execution. When someone does a swap, we are going to be adding a fee. That fee is going to be in U64, which means if we try to add both the price of Bitcoin and the fee, it's not going to let us. And you're going to see this and we'll do casting and you'll get this right away. OK, so we are going to be returning the price of Bitcoin. I don't remember what was the last price of Bitcoin, so I'm just going to throw something here. I think it was like 54 something. I don't know. So let's just say that it's 54 200, right? And this will be in USDC or USDT. OK, this will be the value. Awesome. So we have this function right now. In order for me to obtain the values from that function, I just have to import. I'm going to say use point to my address, then point to the name of that module done. Now we are going to do that function. Let's first of all, make sure that we get the value. OK, also, I will have to use STD because we want to show those values in the the console when we do the test print. Now I'm going to say function calculate swap. Now let's calculate the swap. First of all, I have to make sure that I obtain this value returned here. So all I'm going to do after I imported the price Oracle, I'm just going to declare a variable. Let price and then we'll call that BTC underscore price function from this module. But first, remember, we have to point to the module that has that function. And then I'm going to say BTC price. This value right here should be this return, but it's going to be returned in U128. Now we are going to be operating a DeFi swap, which means that I want to charge a fee, a service fee. What I'm going to do, I'm going to grab the value of price. And this is just me as a demo. That doesn't mean that this is the way to do it. I want to show you why we need casting. So we are going to say price. Now we are going to add a fee to that price. So I'm going to say price with fee. Now we're going to declare this type to be U64 on purpose. I want to say price times, let's say we are going to charge five USDT to the price. OK, I am going to print and we are just going to do this price with fee. And as we know, by now, you should be a master in testing. So I want to do a test. I'm going to throw that attribute there. I'm going to say function test function. So I want to say calculate swap and boom. And that should do it. Now we are going to test. OK, 
Save. Cool. Aptos move test. Okay, let's test and see what we get. We should fail. And sure enough, what do we see here? It's telling me that the return from that function is 128. My expression is defined to be u64. We have to fix that. Okay, so let's do casting. Casting, all I need to do, I'm going to say price. If this type is u64, I need to make sure that this return also matches u64. So I can then grab and, and close this and define this to be as and this is how we do casting u64 we save this and we give it a shot boom look at that 54 205 and sure enough we added the extra five that's it that's casting okay now do the following i'm going to do another operation i'm going to do let price u128 we're going to reconvert that back to 128 so all i'm going to do is price with fee as u 128 we enclose this and now we are going to say here price u 128 and let's see what we get that's it it's the same we are converting back and forth i could also do this i'm going to do the following let cast math i'm going to declare this and let's convert this back to u 128 so what i'm going to do i'm going to add, i'm going to do this on purpose u 128 and let's not change price or cast price to 164 let's leave it at 128 we will leave this also as u128 right i am going to cast and convert that to u64 i can say the following i'm going to add price u128 as u64 plus price with fee as u64 we converted that as well and that will give us the sum of both values right so i'm going to say cast math and done okay so let's uh give it a shot there you go so we added both values now i can even go further convert them to u64 u64 but now i can do this as well i can and close them and i can say as u128 so i can reconvert this back i convert it to u64 u64 then i reconvert it back to u128 and this should do it let's see there you go no different okay we have reached the end of this video number nine on video number 10 what i'm going to do i am going to grab all the video material that we have discussed so far in the move smart contract basics tutorial and we will do a review and we will jump straight into events see you on video number 10